why Python is so overwhelmingly used in quantum computing. Quantum computing isn't just about the mysterious properties of qubits and their potential to revolutionize speed, it's also about making these properties accessible and manipulable by humans. This accessibility is where programming languages come into play. In the realm of quantum computing, Python has emerged as the go-to language for developers. But why is Python so popular and what does its dominance mean for the future of quantum development? So guys, hello and welcome back to QuantumFi. In today's video, we'll talk about why Python is so overwhelmingly used in quantum computing. So let's get started. Quantum Computing Programming Languages the world of programming has a vast variety of languages and frameworks, but only a few are pre-designed to harness its unique capabilities and manage the complexities of quantum systems. It's not surprising that Python has become incredibly popular in this field, given its status as the number one programming language for over five years. Python's popularity isn't just confined to quantum computing, it has long been the chosen language for many classical computational systems and is even favored in traditional and legacy software. With many systems today still using languages like C, Java, and JavaScript, it's worth exploring why Python is so beloved in the quantum realm. The widespread adoption of Python in both classical and quantum computing underscores its versatility and ease of use. Let's delve deeper into what makes Python such an appealing choice for quantum programmers and how its dominance could shape the future of quantum development. Legacy Big Tech the world of quantum computing in Python boasts numerous powerful libraries. Qiskit, developed by IBM, is a major open source framework that lets you create quantum logic using Python API. Google's Circ is another powerful library for creating and running quantum circuits on Google's quantum computers or other simulators. Microsoft's Quantum Development Kit, QDK, is a Python-based toolkit that uses cloud computing for designing and executing quantum algorithms. New Quantum-Centric Companies Quantum-centric companies are also leveraging Python for their innovative solutions. Rigetti's PyQuil acts as an interface to their cloud-based quantum hardware, supporting hybrid classical quantum algorithm development. Penny Lane from Xanadu integrates quantum computing with machine learning, allowing you to use quantum computing in gradient-based learning algorithms with Python's familiar syntax. Project Q from ETH Zurich focuses on high-performance simulation of quantum algorithms and provides an integrated development environment for quantum programming. Additionally, OpenCASM is a Python-supported language created by IBM to write quantum circuits. Finally, while Yao JL is a Julia-based quantum simulator, it's worth mentioning that even the Julia programming languages draw heavy inspiration from Python. Now, you probably have either heard or learned Python at some point as far as you've been online, and no, we're not talking about the snake. Python is a high-level, interpreted programming language famous for its readability and simplicity. Just look how easy it is to say hello compared to other languages. For developers, being able to read less code is crucial for optimized systems. Another of its key technical advantages is its extensive library and the vast ecosystem of third-party packages and community support to make devs feel not alone in this space. It's welcoming. Python's dynamic typing and automatic memory management simplify the development process, making it accessible for beginners and powerful for experienced programmers. This makes it a popular choice among the scientific community thanks to its robust set of scientific libraries such as NumPy and SciPy. These libraries provide comprehensive tools for numerical and scientific computing, essential for simulating and running quantum circuits. For example, the block sphere representation, a fundamental concept in quantum mechanics, can be easily manipulated and visualized using these packages. NumPy offers efficient array operations and linear algebra routines, while SciPy builds on this foundation with additional modules for optimization, integration, and more. And if you learn anything about quantum computing, it's that there is a lot of linear algebra. This rich ecosystem makes Python particularly well suited for the complex computations required in quantum computing. If any of this information is too complex, leave your questions down in the comments and we will be happy to address them. Python stands out as the top choice for building software apps when it comes to security. Its clean coding style and neat structure make it tough for hackers to break into. And as we step into the quantum era, the need for security is only going to get bigger. Python comes with built-in security modules like encryption libraries, and support for secure connections. This makes it great for handling sensitive information, especially as quantum computing becomes more prevalent. 
Plus, Python has a massive community of developers who are always working on making it safer, such as the Python Security Response Team, an open community dedicated to address, resolve bugs, and the Python language in this evolving landscape. Python is like a superhero for security because it works across various systems and devices. That means you can use it to make super safe programs no matter what kind of tech you're using, which is perfect for the emerging world of quantum. All of this is thanks to its open source vibe. These goodies are super powerful and helpful for doing quantum simulations, making algorithms, and even interfacing with hardware. With all these tools at your disposal, you're basically entered the race with a head start. And trust me, in this game, every bit of code counts. Only if we can get quantum hardware up to speed, but the, the teams working on quantum hardware, we salute you and have a special video diving into the interworkings of quantum hardware. Python is deeply merging with the quantum world. It's like they're coming together to create something transformative. Python isn't just sitting back and watching this revolution happen, it's right in the middle of it, stirring things up like a boss. As this quantum Python story unfolds, we're expecting big things. It's going to explore new territories, team up with some heavy hitters, and probably blow our minds with what it can do. Right now, Python isn't just a player in the quantum scene, it's calling the shots, writing the script, and leading the charge into a whole new quantum frontier. Exciting stuff, right? And that's it for today, guys. Hit that like button if you enjoyed our video, comment down on what you want to see in our next video, and subscribe to get quantumfied. Stay tuned as we'll be back soon with another informative video. Till then, keep watching Quantumfy. Thank you.